Hello, in this tutorial, I'm going to present the next advanced functionality, which was recently added to UV Packmaster, UV tracking. As usual, this is the UV map we'll be using throughout this tutorial. But I just want to say one more thing before we start in order to emphasize how islands are being transformed during the packing in this tutorial, I'm going to enable heuristic search for one second and use that setting throughout the entire tutorial. Now I've already covered the heuristic search feature in another tutorial and you'll find the link in the description just in case you want to get familiar with it. Okay, so let's proceed with the main topic of this tutorial, UV tracking. Let me briefly introduce the concept of UV tracking in UV Packmaster. The idea is simple. You can configure some UV islands to track other UV islands during the packing operations. And by tracking, I mean that the island follows the transformation of another island during the packing operation. Let me, let me just show you how this works. First, keep in mind that the UV tracking feature is meant to be used on a set of duplicate UV islands. So let's first duplicate my 3D model to duplicate the set of UVs. Now in the UV editor, I'm gonna press G, Y, then one and enter. And that's gonna move the duplicated UVs one tile up in the UV space. Now that I have UVs duplicated, let's configure the UV tracking. Now this is actually really simple. We go to the track groups panel and enable the track groups. Let's now select all the UVs with A and then I'm gonna click on show group assignments. And as you can see at the very beginning, all the islands have a special value N assigned to them, meaning they're not assigned to any track group. Islands not assigned to a group are ignored by the functionality. So they'll be processed by the packer in the usual manner. Now, in order to make certain islands to track other UV islands, I simply need to assign them all to the same track group. Now, I've already covered that process of assigning islands to a group in the lock groups tutorial, link down below. So I'm not gonna talk about that in detail. So if you wanna just recap, go have a watch that video. So I'm gonna assign these islands to group NR1 by pressing the assign islands to group. Now I am just gonna select the bottom half. And now the rule is simple. During a packing operation for a single track group, the unselected islands from the group will track transformation of the selected islands from the group. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna press pack. And as you can see, the selected islands were packed to the default tile as usual, and the unselected islands followed their transformation. Now, an interesting fact, they followed the transformation in respect to the original offset between the selected and unselected islands. Now the offset was one tile up before packing, and that's why the offset is still one tile after packing. So that's how the UV tracking feature works. Now the cool thing is that I can press pack as many times as I want and the unselected islands will track to the selected islands. Bam, bam. All right, so now it's time to explain the naming convention used by the tracking feature and is crucial for understanding the remaining part of the tutorial. Now, when using the UV tracking feature, selected islands or islands determining transformation are called driver islands, whereas unselected islands, islands following the transformation, are called tracker islands. Now with this knowledge, keep in mind, I can now explain how the packer determines the match between driver and tracker islands. So in other words, which islands follow which during the operation? Now the rule is simple. The packer initially looks at the pairs of duplicate islands between the driver and tracker islands. Now duplicated islands are identified as these having the same vertex layout. Now, after determining all the duplicate pairs, it analyzes the UV offset consistency between them, and then it selects the pairs for tracking. So similar, vertex layout is a key feature here. However, if you worked on double UVs and don't have to worry about it as double islands has an identical layout to the original islands. And the UV tracking feature is generally meant to be used with doubled UVs. But as soon as you change the layout of the islands, the packer won't be able to determine the match any longer. So let's zoom into an example driver island and change the shape. Now let's double the scale across a single axis. So scale Y2, there we go. And now I'm gonna select all the driver islands again and then press pack. And as you can see, the packer reported that it could not find a tracker island for the driver island and aborted the operation. 
And the reason you could not find it is because both islands don't have the same vertex layout anymore. And I'm specifically talking about this mesh here. Now, at the same time, I've shown you a nice feature of the packer. When it cannot establish a match for the driver island, it will report and abort rather than performing the operation. Now, it's quite desirable behavior because it indicates an error in the island setup, leaving aside an intentional island shape modification, as is the case here. Because look, even if I don't modify the island shape, so let's kind of like undo the operation. You could still imagine where you can hide some tracker islands between two packing operations and forget to unhide it before pressing pack. So let's simulate such a case. I will now select a single tracker island and then press H to hide. Now I'm gonna select all the driver islands and press pack. So that's awesome. It could not find a match for every driver island and aborted indicating that something is wrong with the island state. Now, there is an option allowing you to ignore this error. All you have to do is disable the required match for all checkbox. And let's reselect everything again and pack. And the islands were repacked. And note how they were slightly moved. But you were not informed that one of the islands was missing in the operation. And that's quite bad. Now, note that the packer always ignores hidden islands. So it didn't take into consideration the hidden tracker islands or other tracker islands will transform apart from the hidden one. So now if I were to unhide the hidden island, Alt H, you can see that it's misaligned with other islands. Now that's the reason why it's always recommended to have the require match for all option enabled. So I'm just gonna re-enable it and let's undo the last operation a few times until the hidden island is visible again. Let's now switch for a second to another UV map in order to emphasize an important fact. Sometimes one doesn't duplicate the entire UV map, only a subset of a UV island. Even in such a case, you can configure the track feature without disabling the require match for all option. Now have a look at this map in which I duplicated a few islands instead of the entire map. So how can one configure UV tracking for such a map without disabling the required match of all? Well, actually it's very simple. You just need to remember what I said at the very beginning of this tutorial, islands not assigned to any track group are ignored by the functionality. So let's use this fact now. Now in the first step, let's select all the islands and then we'll make sure they're not assigned to any group by pressing the unset groups button. And as expected, the end letter means that an island is not assigned to any group. Now, all I have to do is to assign to a track group only these islands, which have been duplicated and their duplicates as well. So let's now reselect them. So for instance, this, 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 and I am just pressing L. So let's assign these islands to the group NR1. And that's basically it. Now, as always, I need to select the driver island as well as the island not assigned to any group before packing, making sure the tracker islands are not selected. And then press pack. And as you can see, the tracking feature worked as expected, only with a subset of duplicate islands. And I could still leave the require match for all options selected as recommended. All right, let's get back to the original UV map, which I'll use for the rest of this tutorial. Now, another useful fact regarding the UV tracker, a single driver island may drive more than one tracker islands. So in order to demonstrate this, let's duplicate the UV map once again. So first let's select the original UV map and in the 3D viewport, shift D and I'll just move it over. And now let's move the UV map, G, Y, one, G, X, one. Now I want you to note an important fact. When I press the show group assignment, you will see that the duplicated UV map is already assigned to group NR1. That's because the duplicated UVs share all per island parameters assigned to the original UV map by default. So to sum it up, all our UVs belong to group NR1, so we don't need to tweak the group assignment in any way. Just select the original UVs, and press pack and note how both duplicated UV maps track the original UV map. Now, just a side note that you don't have to limit yourself to two duplicated maps in our general case, no matter how many times you duplicate the map, all duplicates will track the original map as long as the island layout and location offsets are consistent. Okay, we're at the very end of the tutorial. So let me just show you one more useful feature of UV tracking in UV Packmaster. 
Now I told you that the driver tracker matching is based on the vertex layout similarity. The vertex layout similarity and the location offset consistently between the drivers and trackers. That's how it works, but note that the packer has some tolerances for inconsistencies in that matter. Now, what I mean is I can move some of the islands out of the offset due to some reason, and if the majority of the islands are still in the consistent offset, the packer will still be able to work out what needs to be matched properly. So now, if I select some of the small subsets of driver islands and move them out of the offset, and I'm gonna do it with some of the tracker islands as well, so let's select a small subset of the tracker islands from both maps and then move them out of the offset and then select all the driver islands and of course selecting those ones that were moved out of the offset and then press pack. You can see that the packer was able to match the islands properly despite some of them being moved and what is more, it was able to realign them. So now that's all I wanted to show you in this tutorial. Despite the fact that I've already recorded a couple of UV Packmaster tutorials, keep in mind that the tool still has a lot of nice features to talk about. So more interesting tutorials are coming in the near future. So don't forget to press the subscribe button to make sure you won't miss them. Thank you very much and bye-bye.